fat. I like to put water down on this dry clay. Scrapes off easier, keeps from ruining my bats as much. Just a second there to absorb the water. Right off. And this ball, this one's a little more than the bottom, it's a pound and a half. Give me a little bit more height in my cylinder. Right, there was a little groove in the bottom of that. Right. Nice smooth bottom. And a centering tool again. Drag the off of there. All right, get her whirling around. This piece is not going to have a bottom, so I'm going to run my fence all the way down to the wheel head. So I made such down. Donut. I'm going to open and uh, to get this to go around the little votive holder, it needs to be three fingers from the center to the edge. And I've got that. It's nice having these cylinders like this because you don't have to worry about the bottom, there's no compression. The time in these is the cutting that we'll be doing after they are leather hard. Right, first pull. Still do three pulls. Nice undercut. Pull. A little extra there on the rim. will be the last pull. Okay, and give myself the shape now. Nice and tall. Looking good. To make several different luminaries, I have a moon and stars, a cocapelli, a holly berry, uh, this time I'm going to be making a new one, a lobster, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm just getting the shape so they all start off the same. There we go. Just a nice body piece to... A nice place for shadows and lights. Alright, do my little quick trip trip around the rim. Whoop. A little extra clay there. Alright, now here's a little tricky part. So I'm gonna do my undercut on the outside like I always do. And then with my needle, so when it cuts, so when I cut it off, it's nice and neat. I go ahead and do an undercut on the inside. So that was that. So I do not cut these off. If you cut these off now, they will um, warp and then they'll be all wobbly. So I leave them just like that. And when they're leather hard, I cut them off. So I'll probably show you that later. So there it is. Nice little um, candle luminary. So put this over here with the others. And that's that. So I'll be heading on down to trimming here in the next day or so, so stay tuned.